quick video on the front end of this truck. I get a lot of questions on how did I mount this winch to my cuck V. Uh, I know it doesn't really look like one, but this is actually an M1009 Blazer, just repainted, rebadged. So just to take a second to talk about it, what I did here was I actually uh, mounted a Harbor Freight 12,000 pound winch. Got a great deal on it. Um, it's not hooked up right now. Uh, the reason for that is because I just switched batteries. So, uh, but it does have an Anderson power pole connector. And then to talk about how it was actually mounted, I got this winch mount on Amazon. Uh, I'll put the link in the description as to what it was. I don't know off the top of my head which one it was, but I knew that this was about the right width between the two clevises here. Uh, that stick out from the cuck fee. and usually you'd have d-rings here so what i did was i ordered these basically gigantic trailer hitch pins um, from mcmaster car and i drilled a one inch hole i think it may have been one and one sixteenth inch, inch hole that goes through everything you may want to check that and then here we've got what i believe are 12 inch I think extensions for a hitch, uh, you could get this on Harbor Freight, uh, you know, real cheap. And what I did essentially was this hooks up right there to the base of the clevis and you just drill a hole on the side and it lines up perfectly. And what I did is you can actually see how it is kind of offset. It meets on this side, on the outer side on both sides. Dad took some kind of careful measurements on my part, but the benefit is that it doesn't make any noises while you drive. It doesn't rattle, it doesn't even move. And then drill a hole right down here through the entire assembly and grab some grade eight half inch bolts and goes right through there. I've been running this setup for well over a year with no problems at all. Um, works great. And also these holes double as a CB antenna mount. Now the astute among us might be wondering, well, if you just have these hitch pins here, what's stopping anybody from stealing this entire thing? Well, if you take a look under here, this pin has a hole that goes right through it. I want to say that that was a quarter inch hole, uh, maybe slightly bigger than that, I'm not sure, but uh, should be pretty self-explanatory. If you get yourself one of these locks that has like about a two inch clearance, you can put this lock right on it, you put the pin in and then you lock it up this way, and it stays there. Doesn't make any noise, surprisingly. I don't know if it's just the 6.2 diesel is just that loud, but again, you know, this is a pretty straightforward way to just lock up your, your stuff. And also, um, in case if you were worried about someone could loosen up these, well, I guess they could, but they also sell nut locks. Uh, we'll also add a link to that in the description. I just haven't had time to add mine yet. But essentially you unthread this nut, you put the lock on, you put the nut on, and then you put a, uh, another portion on it on that's a lock, and then you basically have no access to this nut whatsoever. Or you could just grind it in such a way that you can make a special tool for that. It's really up to you. The possibilities are endless. Something else that I'd like to note about this is that you could grab hold of the brush guard here, put your foot down on here and stand up on it, and then you can service the engine bay. What I like to do is I like to run the cable out here. I used to have a, a nice spot right here where the Anderson power pole connector stayed, but because this is a new grill, I did not uh, make provisions for that yet. Um, but again, it used to be here, and then this would just plug right into there. In the event that this whole thing just tears off, it should disconnect straight from the power pole connector and not rip your truck to pieces. So, Well, that concludes the first of many videos that will be a tour of the K5 Blazers or M1009 Blazer. I hope that really helps some people out, especially those of you with Cuckbees. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. There's gonna be a lot more content to come. Thanks a lot, bye.